Take a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Nick Hacken here, South China Morning Post. I'm with the Wonder Boy Fabrizio Andrade, the bantamweight MMA king of one championship, ahead of one Friday Fights 22 in Bangkok, Lumpany Stadium. I know you're excited tonight for Anatoly Malakin. He's going to be fighting Arjan Bulla for that. They unify the heavyweight titles. Let's get a quick prediction from you, sir. Man, I think Anatoly going to knock him out. You know, he's looking good. He's looking strong, you know, you see, I saw yesterday on the way in the face-off, he looks strong. The guy is like, is a machine, you know, I am just so excited and I can't wait. I think he's going to knock him out. More more title belts for Tiger Muay Thai. You guys are cleaning up. You got how many belts now? I think five champions there. You got you, Anatoly, Cricklia, Chingiz, Tenkai. Tenkai. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, man. Uh, Tiger has been like with all of those guys come in and go all the time, you know, so the training there is like, it's so good. And it's been like showing us results in those fights, you know? Yeah, and we didn't get to speak to you after your big win here in this stadium against John Lineker when you took the belt back in February, I want to say it was February, wasn't it? Yeah, it seems yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, so how are you doing? I haven't spoken to you then. I've seen a lot of people have been calling you out. <laughs> You've been calling other people out. Give us give us an update. Uh, what's next for you or what do you think might be next? Man, it's been good, you know. It's been good to be the champion. And I'm enjoying it, uh, getting used to it as well. You know, a lot of things changing. But staying, staying focused, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting to fight in August, you know. Haven't, haven't any opponent confirmed yet. But there's a couple names uh, that we are talking so hopefully in August or somewhere close to that, I'll be back. Yeah, and I've got to think if it's MMA, it's Stephen Lohman. You know, he's, is he the next one for the MMA title? Yes, yes, for the MMA he's next, but there's, there's all the names that uh, we have been talking, so we might have uh, some surprise for the fans. Yeah, I've, I've heard this name and it is very exciting. I'm going to ask you, you don't have to confirm it. Yeah, I mean, can you tell us who it is? You can say no. Uh, no, I cannot <laughs> tell who it is, uh, but there's a couple names that uh, that could be my next opponent. Yeah, I think you're all going to like it. It's it's not what you might think. But there have been other people calling you out as well. A certain Jonathan Haggerty, who was here, he beat Nongo in April, won the bantamweight Muay Thai belt. You two had a bit of um, social media interaction. What about that fight? Is that one you'd like? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, a while ago he was uh, he did an interview and he was saying that he would be he was interested in fighting me. So I I told him, okay, now you are the champion. So if you if you really want to fight me, now is the time to make. But yeah, like I say, there's a couple names that uh, we have been talking to. So we will see what happens. You know, I got a lot of options in the moment. Yeah, and another guy who was here last week or a couple of weeks ago, Quan Won Il. You fought him before. He got a very impressive uh, second round TK over Artem Belak. He said he wants the winner of you and Loman. Would that be fine with you? If you beat Loman, you go run it back with Quan? Yeah, 100%, man. I like easy money, you know. <laughs> After Loman, I'm going to beat him up too. I'm going to line up all those guys and keep smash them. Do you think he's got any chance to uh, make this different or what? I think this time is going to be about 30 seconds. Because you got him with a body shot last time, I think. Uh, how about a different finish? What would you go for this time? Yeah, that was 50 seconds. I need to think about something that uh, I can finish him early. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, were you impressed by the performance uh, against Arte and Belak? Yeah, I was, I was actually, I was really impressed. I congratulate him, you know, that was a good performance. He, he got taken down, but he stayed composed. So that was a good performance. But there's different levels, you know, and I've been showing that. I've been like smashing all of those guys, you know. So it, it, it was a good performance, but I, I am 100% believe that I'm on a different level. And you had a few injuries after the fight against John Lineker. Are you feeling 100% now? I saw... I th you look pretty banged up. I think your hand was broken. Is yeah. it all good now? Yeah, yeah, I broke my hand, but the recovery was perfect. You know, I, I, I needed some time to to recover. So I was being like camp through camps to become champion. And after that, I needed a break. So everything hap happened for a reason, you know, but I'm back 100%. I'm already fully training. And like I said, I'll be ready to, to fight in August. So we're going to see you in August. One fight night, 13, I want to say, at Lumpini Stadium, definitely. 
Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to push you. Okay, all right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dom Lau here from One Championship. You are tuned into the best damn martial arts news outlet anywhere in Asia. SCMP Martial Arts, baby. Give them a follow.